Let's solve this question. It is check whether two strings are anagram of each other or not. Let's try to read the problem statement. The problem statement here says, given two strings, S1 and S2, consisting of lowercase characters. Now the task is to check whether these two given strings are an anagram of each other or not. All right. Now it explains what an, uh, what an anagram is. Well, an anagram of a string is another string that contains the same characters. Only the order of the characters can be different. All right. For example, act and tack are an anagram of each other. The string S1 and S2 can only contain lowercase alphabets. This is a compulsion. And a note that is given here, which says that you can assume that both S1 and S2 are not going to be empty. Let's see the sample test cases. It is saying that you'd have two strings, S1 and S2. Now, it like these two strings must be anagram of each other. That means we can, like just by rearranging the letters of one string, we can form the other one. Okay. If that is possible, simply we have to turn true. Otherwise, in this case, if the like if this thing, if the anagram is not possible, if we cannot form up another string from the first one just by rearranging it, that means it is not an anagram and we would return the false. Okay. So you can see all these test cases. This are just, like these are all the just variant of some like examples. And here you can also have such cases when you have only one letter. Well, obviously that is anagram of each other. Now coming on to the approach of it. Now, the very first approach that might come to your head is going to be that let's sort both of these strings, okay? Let's say I had A, B, A, C, D, and I had A, C, B, D, A. I have these two strings. What can I do? First of all, let's try to uh, sort both of these strings. Let's say S1 has become A, A, B, C, D. And once I sort the other one, S2, I can say it's A, A, B, C, D again. I have these two strings. I just need to compare these two and I can say, okay, if the comparison is successful, all the characters are same, then we can say true. These are anagram of each other. Quite simple, right? And the comparison is going to be taking order of n because we have to compare each and every character. Sorting, on the other hand, is going to be taking n log n. So this is the dominating uh, complexity. The total complexity of this approach can be said as order of n log n. Any extra space that we need? That would uh, just be required for sorting. Okay, so this complexity is actually very, we can say, a bigger one for this question. We can improve it. We can improve it, but we would require help of another data structure. If you want to take a guess, yes, whenever we talk about frequencies and count of the elements, we are like there is a possibility we might be referring to hash maps. So, what do we need to do? Well, there could be two variations of counting the frequency. First is using a hash map. Another, we can also have a frequency array. Both of the approach are quite similar. It is just that we are using different data structure to apply the same logic. What will we do? Let's suppose if we have to uh, make up a frequency dictionary or a frequency hash map, which has frequency count of all the elements. Let me uh, just write up a random uh, string here. Let's say we have this string. Now I have to create a frequency count of it, a frequency chart, if you want to say it like that. So in, th in the terms of hash maps or dictionaries, what will we do? We will just take up an empty dictionary. And the moment we have our A, or uh, let's say the first character, we'll check that whether that, that element is present in the dictionary as a key or not. If that is not present in that dictionary as a key, we will introduce a new key and we will give the corresponding value as one. Now going on ahead, we have B, introduce a new key, and write one towards it. Now, once you go to this element A, you will check in your dictionary. Your checking operation takes order of one. You're checking in your dictionary and you checked, okay, the key is already present. But this time, what you are going to do is you are going to increase the count by one. You encountered C, you made one more key, you encountered another C, you added one to it. Then you have D, you got one, you got E, you made one more key and uh, had the value, you increased the value. And then you got B, you increase the value. So eventually you have two, 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 one, and two, these values. All right. How much time did it take? Well, we are traversing from this place, from the beginning of the string till the end. All right. If n characters are there, then we are taking order of n time. If I am simply 
fetching the values and trying to check in my dictionary that okay if that key is present or not for that we take order of one so if now like if in total we talk we are just consuming order of n time let's talk about space a little for a space what are we doing we are having this hash map now this hash map or you want to say dictionary how uh, big it can grow how many characters you can have well the question has already limited to all the lower case alphabets that means only 26 characters okay so our hash map is not going to be more than order of 26 or in general you can say o1 because that is a constant coming on to the way of frequency arrays the concept is completely similar instead of this data structure what we would have is we would have an array of 26 elements each initialized with zero beginning that uh, beginning of the traversal it signifies that no none of the element has occurred at any time all right and let's uh, suppose we have the indices according to the indices we map of the uh, characters so zero will be representing a one will be representing b c d and so on and so forth now according to the ascii values that we get we try to save the count of it let's suppose i encountered a so at this position using the ascii mapping i would write one here okay i encountered b at this position i would write one i encountered one more a i would increment this value so by the end what i would be having is some data structure similar like uh, similar to this okay this is how how we count frequencies using hash map or a frequency array how can this help us in this question what do we have to do is we have to make one frequency chart for s1 another frequency chart for s2 and then we need to compare these two charts very simple once these two charts are completely identical that means the number of keys are same and the corresponding values are same if that is so that means these two strings are anagram of each other simple right let's see the code for it okay so here's the code i have created one empty dictionary here and then what i have done is first of all i have created this frequency chart for s1 you can see the syntax of it very easy way the uh, one i have already told you dot get function will say that if ch is present that means the character's uh, key is present then we are going to be fetching that key's value and we'll add one to it if ch is not present then the key with value zero will be presented and one will be added to that similar concept According to the code, we have made a slight modification there. Instead of creating a new one, what we have done is first we have created, first we have created the array, uh, sorry, the hash map. And once we have stored all the values here, what are we doing is once we are creating up and following the same fashion in the S2, the string 2, instead of creating up a new data structure, what I'll do is let's suppose I have two A's here. So every A I encounter or every character I encounter for every corresponding value, I will do minus one. Okay. So what this will lead to, like if these two strings are anagram, so eventually once my this loop is executed, every value that I have would be now turned to zero of all the corresponding keys. Because if let's say A occurred two times in the first one, in the next string two, it will occur two times and that will be subtracted. So with these two frequencies and the same concept, eventually I will check with this loop whether all the values of the corresponding keys that I have is zero or not. If all the values have already become zero, that means we can simply return uh, true here. But if that condition fails anywhere, that means let's suppose you had A, 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 B, and in the next string you only had A, A, B. The first hash map you make would be A corresponding to three, B corresponding to one. And then once you run the same loop, a similar loop of subtracting the values in this string, what will happen? A, A, that means minus two will happen. And for one B, minus one will happen. The key, uh, the dictionary would then become A, one and B, zero. What we are checking here is whether all the keys values are zero or not. Here you can see what is happening. Well, one value is still left for this key. That means this is one extra character which we do not need this what happens is we can say these are not anagram if this condition violates if this condition violates you can return false otherwise if this loop is successfully executed then you can simply return true at the end so quite simple the concept of counting frequencies is the same whether you use hash maps or you use frequency arrays now let's analyze the complexity of this code what are we doing let's talk about the time complexity first we are using this loop which let's say uh, is of 
m length the string is of m length so it will be order of m plus order of n supposing this is the length of the other one and then we are creating up the like we are just checking our hash map so it is going to be order of 26 right 26 max characters possible so what we can say it is order of m plus n plus 26 ignoring 26 because that's again a, just a constant value we can say the time complexity is order of m plus n now coming on to the space complexity well with this little optimization here we are just using one hash map and what uh, what are we doing here we are creating up a hat uh, we are creating up a hash map which would take order of 26 every time not more than that so this can also be then you can like count it as constant if you want to then once we are done uh, this code will return either true or false and you would have the required answer let's try to run this code so here we have the same code let's try to compile it okay compiling that we have what our expected output for the sample case let's try to submit that for testing against all the test cases all right so it has passed all of the test cases mentioned so i hope now that you have got this question anagram very easily and uh, you can again as I always say you can try run it with your own examples you'll have a better clarity of it and i hope you have also understood about the complexities you can implement the same question with the frequency array as well okay give it a try so thank you thanks for the video if you liked it drop down in the comments and uh, you can like the video as well thank you